When boy slips guard secret note, he calls back up. Excuse me, says the little boy, looking at the tall man in uniform. Excuse me, are you Santa Claus? The man looks straight ahead, not acknowledging the boy's presence. I heard you might be him. If you're him, here's my list. And as the little boy stretched his hand, holding a folded up Christmas list, something miraculous happens. The man opens his palm and takes the list from the boy, whose jaw is now wide open. Is this man really Santa Claus? The man in question was not Santa Claus, but a U.S. Marine. And the situation depicted was actually the plot of a commercial for Toys for Tots, released in 1997. Toys for Tots is a program run by the Marine Corps, which distributes toys to underprivileged children for Christmas. And though the tale of this young boy might have been fictional, the Marine's generosity is not. And the story of this young boy in Florida proves it. The Sea Turtle Youth Triathlon is an annual event that takes place along Pensacola Beach in Pensacola, Florida. It is a full triathlon aimed at children aged 7 to 15, created to encourage athleticism from an early age. The swim portion of the event is held in the Gulf of Mexico, while the bike and run portions are held on a closed road. The event is wholly run by volunteers, and that's where Matthew Morgan came in. Matthew Morgan is originally from San Diego, but he moved to Pensacola to join the Marines, becoming a private first class at Marine Detachment Quarry Station. The training command post had 22 students that year, and Captain Frank Anderson, their commanding officer, decided to volunteer their services for the Sea Turtle Triathlon. The group of young men would help monitor the races and look out for any eventuality. But nobody was prepared for what was about to happen. Private Morgan was standing along the course of the run portion of the race, waiting for the young triathletes as they completed the swim and bike portions of the event. Soon he saw the first group of young kids approach and smile as they all ran by and completed the race. As more and more children made it to the finish line, Private Morgan noticed something out of the corner of his eye. There was a boy in trouble. An 11-year-old boy named Ben Baltz had gone down in the middle of the course. Private Morgan immediately rushed over to see if he could help. And that's when he realized what the problem was. The boy had a prosthetic leg and it had come off. I made it there first and he had already regained his composure and was trying to fix his leg. I asked if he needed help, recalled Private Morgan, but this boy had a lot of determination. This was not Ben Baltz's first triathlon. When he was only six years old, he was diagnosed with bone cancer in his right leg. Due to the condition, he had to have his fibula and tibia removed. But that was a little obstacle for young Ben. Once the cancer was gone, he went right back into sports, using a mechanical knee and special running leg. He plays soccer and baseball, but triathlons are his true passion. And this one was no different. The Sea Turtle Triathlon was Ben's third triathlon, and he was doing great. He had already completed the 150-yard swim and four-mile bike ride. He was halfway through the one-mile run when he knew something was wrong with his prosthetic leg. It started wobbling. Then before he knew it, a screw came loose and he went down. But when Private Morgan came to ask if he needed help, he knew he didn't want to give up. No, I just want to finish the race, Ben told Private Morgan. Meanwhile, Ben's mom was starting to get worried about her son. It was only a mile. I knew he was tired. I was like, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Kim Baltz told CNN. Private Morgan knew he had to help Ben finish what he started, so he did something incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to turn around and look at what's happening on the course, said the event announcer. Ben's mom turned around and her heart swelled. Private Morgan had picked the boy up and put him on his back and ran the last half mile of the run. The other Marines immediately surrounded them and ran along with them as the crowds cheered and applauded. Mrs. Baltz couldn't contain her tears. It was just very touching that the Marines were there, said Ben's mom. But for the Marines, such actions are part of their duty. We're selfless as an institution in the Marine Corps, said Captain Anderson, putting others before ourselves as second nature. He also had some kind words to say about Private Morgan. Captain Anderson said he was proud that Private Morgan embodied the values of the Marine Corps. It's great to see what Marines do, not leave anybody behind, is exemplified in the youngest members of our institution. It's clear that Private Morgan has a bright future ahead of him. And what did Ben think of all this? According to Mrs. Baltz, Ben was a little embarrassed that he wasn't able to finish the race on his own and that he had to be carried to the finish line. But his parents assured him that there was no need to be ashamed. We want to give him the message that he can do anything 
Eddie as an inspirational story. Private Morgan certainly agrees with that sentiment. As far as I'm concerned, he finished that race, said Private Morgan about Ben. As long as he knows he could have finished it and wanted to finish it, that's all that matters. And he'll be able to participate in many other races in the future, with the full support of his parents. We just want him to get out there and participate in life, said Mrs. Baltz. All he has to do is follow the examples of the Marines, who have a history of doing selfless acts like this. In 2013, U.S. Marine Miles Kerr was running a 5K race in Michigan when he noticed a little boy who'd become separated from his group. Corporal Kerr decided to fall back and run alongside the nine-year-old named Bowden Fuchs, motivating him to keep running and make it to the finish line. People online praise Corporal Kerr's actions. As a Marine, we try to reach out and help as much as we can, he said. I don't think I'm a hero. I was just trying to help.